everyone, I hope you're well and I'm um, keeping safe. This is just a very quick introduction to my video series how to build a music studio um, during um, lockdown. I just wanted to brief you um, how all this started and uh, what this idea is coming from. Um, for the last couple of years, um, I was playing with this crazy idea in my head to build a dedicated um, music studio where there will be a control, a control, control, control room. I can't say control room. <laughs> this is so stupid. Control, control room. That's a difficult one. with a control room and a vocal booth and basically the place when I could uh, produce and mix my uh, music and maybe in a later stage master as well. For months I was studying all the acoustic um, treatment um, and science behind it. I also made my music production um, advanced diploma. I, I was researching all the gear and, and how to make the studio um, to work for me. And after all of these months spent on the research and taking um, an advice from my tutors and the colleagues who works in the music um, business, I came to the conclusion that it's definitely all about the room. It's not the fancy gear, it's not the that someone's going to provide you with um, amazing plugins and this will do it magic for you. Um, in the first place, it's the room. So you have to treat your room acoustically first, um, only then when you're going to buy monitor speakers you can hear the all frequency response and at the end you can um, entertain yourself with the fancy gear. You will not hear the flat frequency response of your amazing speakers if you're not going to address your acoustic treatment in your room in the first place. So we were looking to buy a house which will fit uh, my needs for a studio. It so happened that we found a place uh, with an outbuilding and it seemed perfect to adopt for my little slice of heaven. So let me now walk you through my plans. So the building is a L shape, 7.3 by 5.3. Um, actually 7.5 by 5.5. Um, we did second measurements uh, later um, and that was the correct measure. It includes um, partition wall, which needs to be damaged just to come with this perfect rectangle. Um, we also plan to make a um, um, vocal booth here, so build some wall, um, so that will be the vocal booth place. And basically just to treat the ceilings, um, floors, etc. I did my research on which acoustic company I will go with, um, and I chose GIK Acoustics. Um, once, because they have amazing products based on years of their um, acoustic engineer's experience and there is a whole science behind the products. Plus, and probably the most important reason, is because they provide free acoustic treatment um, advice. All you need to do is to provide them with some plans of your space, uh, pictures, um, videos, um, and basically you go from there. And also they provide um, the Room Acoustic Visualizer, which is a 3D design um, visualizer, very useful. So yeah, basically it's the full package. So I got in touch with one of the engineers, um, sent them plans of my outbuilding and provided them with two options of how I could utilize the building. On the left, option number one, um, basically um, the idea there was to keep a partition wall as it is, um, to build some um, additional wall and to create a vocal booth on the left. Um, but it turned out that the um, studio area, which will be my control room, um, came up as a perfect square. And as you guys know, the perfect square rooms should be avoided at all costs as they are um, a nightmare to treat it acoustically. So yeah, that was definitely no go for us and we went with option number two. In here we have to get rid of partition wall, build um, another wall for to create a vocal booth and to address um, double glazed doors and the windows. This is just a quick view of the project, how the studio area looks like. Um, I will um, make the um, acoustic um, video in a later stage. Um, so basically sweet spot, um, front wall, uh, back wall, and this is how the studio area um, is planned to look like. At the moment we will focus on the partition wall first, then we will um, build the wall for the vocal booth. Uh, we have to treat floors, um, ceilings, and then acoustic treatment at the end. Hi 
you guys, so this is my day one, um, demolition day. Um, I asked my husband for help because obviously we are on the lockdown now, so we can't call um, any professional guys. So there he is, let me introduce you. Fabio, say hello to the guys. Good afternoon. <laughs> um, however, we just faced the first issue, so Fabio is going to explain you what's happened. Challenge number one, there's a brick wall. <laughs> this brick wall supports the roof along with this. So, challenge accepted. Bring supports to this roof while moving this wall. So, challenge number one, challenge accepted, like Fabio said, and we need to probably call architects or builders to come up with some um, idea of the maybe side support or something. The brick wall is a big problem because it's just in the one third of the length of the room. Um, which is a sweet spot. It's literally in a place which, which is the most important in a whole recording studio. So yeah, big challenge. Um, brick will need to disappear. Um, so yeah, we will keep you updated and see you next time.